Hello and welcome to our daily market update here. And we're looking at BP profits uh, coming in this morning. We had bumper profits in the fourth quarter for BP up to $4.8 billion in the final quarter. Turning uh, record profits for the year of $27.7 billion and they've increased the dividend by 10% and also announced uh, a new share buyback uh, of $2.75 billion. So very handsome results. Also confident outlook, they're investing more in short cycle oil and gas investments. They're upping that by about eight, uh, $8 billion. Also upping an investment in green transition stuff for uh, buyback also by about $8 billion. And they took a big um, tax hit, the windfall taxes from the UK and EU coming in, but nonetheless, uh, are delivering strong uh, free cash flow and that's allowing them to invest more and we're getting this signal really that they, they're going to keep in oil and gas for longer. Um, they're going to get down to about 2 billion barrels per day of oil equivalent by 2030. That's down from about 2.5 million barrels per day at the moment but it is above where they'd previously planned. So BP sticking for with oil and gas with fossil fuels for that bit longer and that really reflects the energy uh, situation that we find ourselves in right now. Uh, in the wake of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and in the wake of the pandemic and, and various other factors that go into that. So BP shares were up about 4% in early trade, uh, boosting the FTSE 100, uh, which rallied uh, ahead of European peers. Uh, European stock markets uh, traded around the flat line ahead of comments from Jay Powell, expected later. Uh, we're not quite sure what he's going to say, but uh, this uh, speech was only put in the calendar on Friday, so it could be interesting. He could be pushing back against maybe some of the narrative from last week. We're not sure. Uh, we'll see what uh, it remains to be said. Crude prices were also higher um, in early trade. The earthquake, uh, tragic earthquake in Turkey and Syria uh, affecting flows into certain export terminals. Um, flows as well from Iraq and Azerbaijan also affected so that that has um, uh, put a bit of bid under crude prices also with some positive comments around Chinese growth uh, over the weekend from Fatih Birol. So there, there are uh, there are mixed sort of messages at the moment in the market. We're not really seeing any particular risk on risk off type trade but what we have seen is a, a jump in US Treasury yields particularly at the front end. The two year up about 40 basis points in just a couple of sessions reflecting the markets betting that the uh, the Federal Reserve will say higher for longer, won't be cutting rates as early as maybe they had thought uh, as recently as Wednesday after the Fed statement. So all eyes uh, on that J Powell uh, speech coming up later. Thanks for watching.